Our scripture today comes from Isaiah 55, 12 through 13. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle. And it shall be to the Lord for a memorial, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. I invite you to take a deep breath and let it out. Inhale and exhale. And while you're resting here with God, take a moment to think about your favorite tree. Think about its shape and texture. Think about its bark, its leaves, its needles. Do the leaves turn colors? If so, what is your favorite season? In the spring when it's that light green? In the summer when it seems steady and there may be fruit starting to bloom? In the fall when it turns into spectacular color. In the winter when all you see are its bones. So I want you to breathe deep and picture yourself sitting there under that tree in the shade. And feel the presence of God come with, onto you. Holy One, we have this image of you and trees. You tell us that we shall go out in joy and be led back to you in peace. And that you'll be walking among the trees that burst into song, that clap their hands. And those trees, those steady, constant trees, those trees that live for generations and generations. Those trees are to remind us of you, of your presence. That like those trees, those trees that could be here for hundreds and thousands of years, those trees, your presence, your faithfulness is with us. Holy One, surround us this day. Show us your peace. We need your peace in places where we don't know what to do and how to understand it. We pray for Afghanistan, for the people there. May your love and light come into being. May you protect those who are fearful and afraid right now. May you help them find a way to escape danger. And you may you forgive us. Forgive us who who brought war to a nation for 20 years. Forgive us. Holy One, open us to welcome your refugees. To welcome those who are fearful of death in their country, who are fleeing violence who are fleeing war, who are fleeing the climate crisis. And oh God, we pray for your people in Haiti. One tragedy after another, the death of a leader, an earthquake, a hurricane. Help us to open our hearts so that we can help your people in Haiti. Holy One, we ask you to draw close to us with your peace. Be with our family and our friends. Be with those who are struggling, those who are afraid, those who are sick, those who are in need of your healing presence. We ask you to surround them with your love, 
to surround them with your peace and to bring them, bring them eventually to your joy. Amen.